Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to give you some tips on how to do calligraphy with watercolor and a paintbrush. So let's jump right in. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do basic calligraphy with a paintbrush and watercolor. So usually when you're doing modern calligraphy, you use a brush pen. So here I have a Tombow brush pen and basically um, they have flexible tips so you can get a really nice thin upstroke and a thick downstroke. So I'll just show you quickly. Thin upstroke and then a thick downstroke with pressure. Okay, so those are, that's kind of the principles of calligraphy and writing calligraphy. You wanna make all your upstrokes really nice and thin with light pressure and your downstrokes will be heavier to give you a nice thicker line. So if you don't know the basics of calligraphy, I do have a video where I use brush pens. Um, also, I highly suggest you check out the Happy Ever Crafter and she has tons and tons of lettering videos and she is incredible, that's who I learned from. But today I just wanna show you what I do and how I use a paintbrush and watercolor for lettering. So like I said, it's the same kind of thing, but obviously with a brush pen marker, you're gonna get a stiffer brush. So it might be a little bit easier or harder to control based on your own skill level. Now for my materials for lettering with watercolor, I have my Princeton Snap Brush. I find the size two is a really good size, a size two round brush. You wanna find one with a really, really nice point, but I also like the Snap Brushes because they are a bit stiffer, they're not as flexible, and they bounce right back to their point. For paper, I usually am up and down praising Arches watercolor paper for all my watercolor paintings, but for lettering, you actually want a smoother paper. So a cheaper paper like Canson cold press watercolor paper is actually a lot better because Arches is very toothy and textured. It's harder to get a nice smooth line. So working on something like Canson, um, still 140 pounds, just so you have a really good weight to it so it doesn't warp the paper as much but something like Canson cold press is great or even hot press paper. Okay, so we have our materials, we have our paintbrush and our paper and any watercolors will work. I started with that cheap Artist Loft palette and that works fine too. But what you're gonna do is you're just gonna wet your brush, pick whatever color you like. And the difference between a paintbrush and a brush pen is that these are a lot more flexible. So when you're doing an upstroke, right? You got to make sure you're giving the same amount of pressure. So really, really light pressure on your upstrokes, right? Barely touching. And it is hard with a shaky hand. I understand that. But with your downstrokes, you want to give heavy pressure. The difference is with a brush pen, when you give all the pressure and you're doing the downstroke with the heavy pressure, you can press as hard as you want to, and it will give you that nice thick line. If you press as hard as you can with a paintbrush, you're going to get that. And that's not what you want. You still want a thicker line, but not that thick. So you still have to control it. So light upstroke, and then a heavier downstroke is just a little thicker, okay? And I find the best way to control your hand is really anchor your whole arm down, okay? Don't have it up in the air, then it's a lot shakier. Rest your wrist down, have it kind of like on a 40 degree, 45 degree angle. And you're just gonna do nice light pressure up. Move your whole arm. Try not to move your wrist too much. I find it's less controlled when you do that. Move your whole arm if you need to. And then on the downstroke, just press a little bit more to get that nice thicker line. And then back on the upstroke, you do a nice thin line, okay? Keep in mind, it does take a lot of practice. When I first started, I'll show a picture here. <laughs> One, I did not have the right brush. Two, I had no idea what I was doing. And three, I had not practiced. This takes practice like anything else, like with brush lettering, it all takes practice. So definitely practice your drills. So if you watch my other calligraphy video, video um, there's a bunch of drills that you can do. Again, the Happy Ever Crafter has tons of drills and worksheets that you can do as well. But here are the, the simple strokes that you wanna practice, your upstroke, Okay, thin, that's even a bit too thick. You can just a little bit less pressure, just the tip of your brush. Downstrokes, 
So work on your thicker pressures. Okay, then you're gonna do, I think it's called an overturn. So you go up, thin stroke, down, thick stroke. Okay, you can reverse it. Down, thick stroke, up, thin stroke. You can combine the two. Thin, thick, thin, like that. Practice your, um, your oval shapes, like your letter O's. Thick, going down. Then coming up like that, you're gonna practice, I forget what they're called. Then coming up, this is for like other letters like H, P, stuff like that. I think you're descending, that's ascending loop. Descending loop is when you go down, I believe, don't, don't quote me. Come back up, okay? But those are the basic um, strokes that you wanna practice. So literally fill up your pages with these practice drills over and over and over again and eventually you'll get it okay i'm actually going to do an example of the alphabet for you of how i would do this with watercolor and i'm actually going to switch the colors up so it can be kind of like a fun rainbow pattern so i'm going to start off i'm just going to wet all of my paints and we'll start so let's start with we're going to do low all lowercase letters we're going to do letter a so you're gonna start at the top, you're gonna to give light pressure, you're gonna come around and slowly create some heavier pressure. On your way back up, start lifting up, light pressure, come back down, heavy pressure, light pressure, okay? Then you can always go back in and add a bit more paint, have them bleed. Okay, so we have our yellow. I'm gonna to switch to my orange color and tap it so it kind of bleeds together. B, you're gonna come up and around with light pressure. Come down, now see I have a little gap there. I'm just gonna fill it in. Down with heavy pressure, up, light pressure, around. And you can always go back over, I, I tend to go back over my letters a lot just to make them a bit thicker in areas if you need to. Again, I'm gonna to touch it with my red. A, B, C. Oops. D. And you're just gonna keep practicing.
And there you go, there is your watercolor alphabet using a paintbrush and watercolor. So just keep in mind that all of this does take practice. It takes a long time to master this. I still have a lot of learning to do and work to do, but keep practicing every day as much as you can and you will get there. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for even more. Have a great day guys, bye.